Hello, in this lesson we are going to be learning how to cover with fabric the poppers we're going to be adding to the waist of the coat. I am calling them poppers but you can find them named as uh, sewn on snaps. I don't want to have buttonholes on my exposed on the waist of the coat because the initial idea of this coat was that it would have only one button but occasionally you want to have something that wraps around your waist and uh, the way of having something that closes the coat but without showing anything on the outside I decided to go for poppers and we are going to be covering them because um, I don't like exposed metal. I'm going to show you how they look. We need a set of them, so we need two. They usually are two sides. They have a female and a male side. For covering them, we're going to be using a very lightweight fabric, ideally a lining fabric, because the thicker the fabric, the more difficult it's going to be to actually close the poppers. I am using the same material that I have lined the coat and I like to use the same material as the lining because everything is coordinated and it looks nicer this way. For that, you only need two poppers. I need a piece of lining. I have them, I have the piece of lining now pressed right sides facing. The most important tool here is an owl. The owl is going to basically make a perforation on the fabric it's going to spread the fibers of the fabric without breaking them. If we break them, like going with a pair of scissors and trying to make a hole, with time it's just going to fray and it's not going to last. So we need an owl to spread the fibers of our fabric. I also need a big scissors and what I will do, I'm going to split the fabric. It doesn't have to follow a grain or anything. I'm going to use the owl with the two layers of the fabric right sides facing at the very center and I'm going to push my owl into the material spreading the fibers and I went all the way down and what I will do, pull it out and I will try to split my snap and insert the male side into the opening we have just created. I think I need to make it wider. Okay, so let's go one layer at a time. Okay, we did one side and then now we're going to do the other side. And then with the female side, we're going to close them together. And the next step we're going to do is to trim around the popper leaving what it would be about the same distance from the edge to the center of the popper but about one or two millimeters extra because this is going to fray Now we're going to take our needle with thread and one knot on one end and just with one layer of the lining we are going to run a running stitch all, along, all around this circle. Once we have done the stitching all around the first layer, we're just going to pull and you see that it turns into this ruched circle and we are going to be connecting. So from one side to the other, we're going to be securing the running stitch this way. So I'm just going to secure it. OK, 
Okay, we have done one side and then now we've got to do the other one. I'm going to trim my lining on one side a little bit more. I'm going to do the same zigzag, the same running stitch on the second side. We did one side and then now we can just pull. And we can sew to secure the stitches from one side to the other across. 